Long time no see. This is Sissy. Today I'm here not to talk about plant medicine or how to become a better version of ourselves. I really want to touch a topic that's super 3D and practical and present in my life. I've been doing online dating, if you know what that is. I'm talking about those apps like Hinge, OkCupid, The Pattern. The Pattern is not a dating app, it's more of an astrology app. I've checked out the league and made mindful. The first one I want to touch on is Hinge. I use that one the most. It's quite active. A lot of people locally and you can change your range up to like over a hundred miles. Most of the people I met in person are from that app. So it is real, I guess. Cause I do know people who met their better half on the app. I like the app because you can see the likes and you can reach out to them. You can learn a little about them. What surprised me was the First intention I want to download that app was because I was searching dating apps. People were saying, oh, if you want hookup, it's for Tinder. I'm not looking for hookups. If you want the girls to make the initiative, you should try Bumble. I'm not sure if that's necessary. Like I'm totally fine with guys reach out to me and if they want to have a conversation, I'm, I'm comfortable with that. And then there's Hinge and People say that you can find more serious relationship there. So that's why I downloaded the app. But my actual experience is not necessarily everyone's looking for a serious relationship. There are plenty of hookups going on on the app. Can you limit how many likes you can give to a guy? I'm pretty sure a girl can give more likes than a guy on the app because I've heard guys say they can only give three likes a day for the free account. I don't really use the paid feature on any of these apps. So the next one is OkCupid. OkCupid has a darker black interface. You can like people, uh, you can like a lot of people, but you don't really see the likes if you don't pay them. And I don't see the likes. So unless the guy sent me a message, I don't really know who they are. I think the same with the other way. With OkCupid, they ask you a lot more questions and they can tell you how many same answer you get with your counterpart. I would say there are a lot more users on OkCupid, but it hasn't generated as many in-person meetings for me so far. And then the next app I use, and which is for the longest time actually, I've been using it for a couple months, is called the Patton. It is not a dating app, it is an astrology app. It explains which cycle you are on and, and you can run your pattern with your friends and people you are interested in. And they have two settings, you can do like the friendship and then the romantic relationship. They have a dating feature which is add-on. And of course, they limit how many people you can see a day. I've talked to two people on that app so far. I like both of them. And because there are people who like astrology, so I have something to talk to them. And another thing is one of them is in Virginia, another one's in Kansas City. Like, I might never see them, you know? So we just have a good conversation and be supportive to each other. And then I sent up another app called The League. I've known the league for many years now. At the beginning, they only accept MBA students and then later they start branching out. When I sent up last week, I was on a waiting list. Apparently there are 4,000 plus people ahead of me. I waited for a few days. It still says there are more than 4,000 people ahead of me. And if you go to their Apple Store review, the review was not all positive. So I'm not sure if it's worth it. The other one I use is called Meet Mindful. My really good friend met her soulmate on that app, but she's in San Francisco. So I imagine there are a lot more people on that app. That app, slightly different from the other one is it talks about spiritualities. I guess the intention is supposed to be more mindful. They give me few likes a day and then I can't explore any other profiles. I don't think I've talked to anyone on that app. 
because again, you don't see who likes you and they don't see you like them and nobody initiated a conversation. So the app is not working out for me so far. One of the primary reason I want to make this video is I realized that there are catfish out there and me myself have been catfished given that I'm only on these app for three weeks. So I want to send out a warning to the ladies and gentlemen out there just to talk about my experience and what happened and make sure that you guys are aware of it. I tried to post a blog on Reddit, but the host didn't approve it. I don't know why. What happened was I reached out to a guy on Hinge and his profile had clean pictures. He said, I will give you advice if you want to travel to Turkey. And I always wanted to go to Turkey. So I reach out and during the conversation, he never talked about Turkey. Instead, he told me that, hey, I thought you have a picture while you were in Beijing. I've been to China. Can I send some pictures? I'm like, okay. And he's like, what's your WhatsApp? So I gave him my WhatsApp number. And then we start chatting. He sent me his pictures in Beijing. They're all really nice professional shot. At the time, I didn't think anything wrong about it because personally, I like my picture taken nicely. This guy is just really, really sweet, very attentive. His story was that he married five years ago and then divorced two years later because his wife was not loyal to him. He's been living by himself in Long Beach, California, then moved to Chicago doing investments in the Chicago area plus crypto trading. I thought it was fine. I really, at some point I thought, oh, this guy's so cool. And I even asked for his birthday and run our astrology chart. Everything just matched so perfectly. And then one day he, he was like, I'm setting up my crypto trading to do this by linear two-way trade. And if you want, I can teach you. I'm like, oh, okay, sure. Honestly, he's the fourth guy from these online dating app trying to teach me uh, two-way trading of cryptocurrency. So he sent me a link, asked me to sign up. I tried to sign up. The link was supposed to lead me to a trading platform, but then my phone did not let me to sign up because this app is not approved in Apple Store. Like I could not find the app in Apple Store. I had to use his link. And even after I did everything he told me, my phone said it's not authorized. So that's a red flag. And I told him, hey, my phone doesn't let me to do it. Maybe I will set it out this time. And he was way too patient to teach me. That moment I was like, I feel like this is fake. Because he knows so much about the Chinese culture. He can type in Mandarin fluently. He never talked much about Dutch. This person impersonated as a Dutch living in Chicago, speaking great Mandarin. And he didn't want to meet me in person until after Christmas. And he refused to video chat. That's just, hmm, I'm really surprised that you don't want to meet me in person. I didn't say that to him. That's just what I thought because I talk to other guys. Usually people want to meet in person to get that real feeling. You know, you can text forever and feel great about each other. But then when you meet in person, it's not the same. So. Anyway, I spot him out and we never talked again. My point is, if you see a super hot guy does crypto trading and want to teach you and send you a link to a non-Apple store approved crypto trading website, stop right there because they're scammers. And also at this point, I don't talk to any Chinese anymore because I've talked to two of them and also my friend had talked to some of them. They're all fake. They will ask for your WhatsApp right away. But the thing is real Chinese don't use WhatsApp. We use WeChat. So that's really suspicious. And then usually as soon 
as they add you, they start talk to you like you are their committed girlfriend. They, they will tell you how nice they will treat you. They will talk about how much money they have. They're usually investors. They own wineries, factories all over the U.S. They're here by themselves. They work out. They eat healthy. They will send you a lot of food pictures. And then they also do cryptocurrency trade. At some point, they will offer to teach you. Anyway, they are all fake. One guy just stopped talking to me one day and then the other one got really mad at me because I did not respond to his WhatsApp message in time. But the thing is, for a normal person, we have work to do and I'd rather focus during my work hours and not to be distracted and I think any reasonable person will understand that even when we're in a committed relationship, I think that freedom to be focused on what we have on hand is important. Anyway, I do not talk to people who look like me anymore. <laughs> So people do ask me why I signed up for the dating apps. My answer is I want to make friends and hopefully identify my soulmate along the way. I'm pretty clear that my soulmate is just one person. It can't be every single guy that I meet. I realized that I'm conservative when it comes to intimacy. It's not collecting Pokemon. I know, I'm weird. I'm like a dinosaur. I know it's all in my head. I thought those days have passed. It just... I need to figure it out myself. Sorry for the mumbling. Okay, so let's talk about the guys on these apps. I would say everyone's horny. Some of them can manage to not express that in their text message and the other ones are very straightforward. Personally, I'm not used to that. I've, I've been married for so long that I just don't have that kind of conversation with people. It is definitely new to me and uncomfortable. I'm still trying to figure out where I want to stand on this. Um, before I figure that out, I'm just gonna be standing on my ground and not give in. Other than that, going on a date is quite fun. So far, I've done breakfast, lunch, dinner, drinks, coffee, and I'm going to watch a ballet. I've played video games. I visit some guy at their work because even if we're not gonna work out, they think I might be a good candidate for a job opening that they have. So I went in for an interview. Some guy recommended we meet at the children's museum so our kids can hang out together. I'm excited. Everyone I met in person so far has been nice. Afterwards, they can be a jerk. Some people don't text me or keep canceling dates. I get a hint. It's okay. I was not comfortable kissing you within the first few hours that I met you. I was not ready to have sex with people I don't know very well. It's just who I am. I will get over it. What's up with people's profile? I'm sure it's not just for guys. Maybe some women do those things too. It puzzles me, okay? Because I see mostly guys, so I'm just gonna call it out for guys. The first thing I think is weird is people put multiple people as their profile picture. It's not their solo picture. They have like three other people in the picture. Some guy are even holding another girl. I don't care if it's your sister, your cousin. Unless it's super clear it's your mom, your grandma, you should not put another woman in your profile. Are you trying to date or? And for guys who have other people on their profile, especially other guys, like which one are you? It was very, very confusing. So please don't do that. Why? A lot of guys like to put puppy pictures on their profile. I think you and the puppy is okay, but if you have like two or three pictures of just the puppy, why waste that space instead of letting me know more about you? I like dogs, but I really want to know you first. Okay, in addition to puppies, some guys just put landscape, like forest, wood, ocean. That's not good use of the space. They only let you put six to ten pictures in a profile and half of your profile is landscape. If I want to look at landscape, I could have gone to National Geographic, not your dating profile. More on profile picture. Please have some common sense. I don't want to see half of your face like... Not like this. Okay, no matter how beautiful your eyes are. Not like this. Like, okay, you have great forehead, you have hair, you have some wrinkles, who cares? Or you want to just show your lips, perfect lips, 
oh we are so drawn to your lips no please put your whole face and not all picture of the side of your face we do want to know what you look like they always say be authentic i agree i totally agree but then you probably want to put your best self into those pictures not some blurry pictures not when you're doing random stuff don't be too silly i don't know maybe some people like that kissing is not for me <laughs> okay last thing about the picture is if you have kids, feel free to put your picture with the kids on the profile. I do that so people know that I have a child. But please don't put your picture with your niece and nephew and not leave an explanation. Why else do you do that? To demonstrate you love kids? But they're not your kids. I'm just so confused when people do that. Last but not least, since a lot of apps let you to reach out to people and others don't see you if you just like them it's really helpful to write something to demonstrate that you've read their profile like when i reach out to people i usually comment something on their profile and to demonstrate that i read it i personally think it's a lot more helpful than people just say hi sissy people get a lot of hello on their profile you probably want to stand out if you really are interested in speaking to that person so far the best compliment i've got was like people comment on every single thing i wrote on my profile even though i don't think we can date i still respond to their message and show my appreciation and the highest compliment i've got so far is someone asked me if i'm a real person i am real i'm there i'm looking for my soulmate here's all i have to say for now about online dating actually i have been reading a book it's called How to Succeed with Man. It's written by David Copeland and Ron Lewis. The book is on Amazon. This is one of those books that you cannot judge the book by its cover. This book is amazing. I just learned so much about it. I think I'm gonna talk about this book and what I learned about it in a separate video. But first and foremost, I realized that men really want to have sex. I did notice when I was talking to people on the apps, a lot of them are very direct. And there are so many different sexual orientations and different kinds of relationships. I've been married for a long time, almost my entire adulthood. And my upbringing is just a lot more conservative than a lot of people there. So it's quite eye-opening for me. But anyway, I hope this video is helpful. Please leave me a comment if you want to discuss anything because I know I have a lot to learn in this area. But nonetheless, I want to share what I've experienced so far so we can have the conversation going. Thank you for your patience. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.